Okay, the last part, the last section of today's division. Decimals or fractions? Fractions or decimals? So, I'm going to show you, um, and I'm going to do it with, with a divisor of 4, because you know that 1 quarter is 0 0.25, you know that 2 quarters is 0 0.5, and you know that 3 quarters is 0 0.75. So, I'm going to show you with 4 as the divisor but this will work with any number okay but i'm going to do it with a number that you know so that you are comfortable with it all right so i'm going to do the same question two different ways i'm going to do it as a decimal and i'm going to do it as a fraction okay i'm going to do it as a decimal over here can write there we go and i'm going to do it as a fraction over here okay i'm going to do both questions at the same stage. So the first part of it, 4 into 2, doesn't go. And that is exactly the same for both. 4 into 26 goes 6 with 2 left over. Goes 6 with 2 left over. 4 into 24 goes 6. Okay. And 4 into 7 goes 1 with 3 left over. And this one goes 4 into 7 goes 1 with 3 left over, which is 3 quarters. Now, on the decimal one, I've not done anything with my 3 yet, because here is the new understanding. Okay? Surprisingly, there is a decimal point here. Because it's after our 1's column. And in this column is nothing. There is a 0. So I'm going to put the 0, and I'm going to carry my 3 over. To that. So 4 into 30 goes 7 with 2 left over. Now I've got nothing here, so I put another 0. 4 into 20 goes 5. I now have a decimal answer of 661.75 and 661 and 3 quarters. Now we know that 3 quarters is 0.75 so we know that they are both exactly the same but did you see how it worked okay i made sure that i put my decimal point in the right place after the ones column and i put my placeholders in the in the place where there was nothing okay so where there was nothing i put a zero in that column and i carried over to that and i still calculated how many fours fit into um I think there's three or four questions like that on uh, your gold section if you want to have a go at those both ways. See if you can do it the decimal way and see if you can do it the fraction way. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it as a fraction, but the decimals are a little bit more tricky because you've got a little bit more to do. But have a good go at that. And then after that, um, obviously check out the LBQ because we've been doing the worksheet with each step. And then we'll be back tomorrow. For our final Friday. Okay, good luck.